There's so many things that I wish that I knew before that would have made my life much easier and more joyful and more fulfilling. And in this video, I'm going to show you my top five things that I wish I knew before. Hi, I'm Chris Sauer. Welcome to Quest for Beauty. In this channel, we explore beauty in a more meaningful way as a way of healing and transcending. And the first of the five things that I wish I knew is I wish I had followed my inner voice. I wish I had learned to listen this inner compass that we all have that is never wrong, that I had not just followed the crowd just so then I would feel loved and accepted or have a sense that I belong to something. Because even if I did belong to something, it was something temporary and it was very superficial because whenever there is a condition in order to belong to something, there's this sense of separation and not unity. This inner voice will always guide us in order to bring us back into the oneness. Not having listened to this inner voice was like rejecting myself, which is the worst kind of rejection, actually, when we reject our inner voice, ourselves, who we are, and who we are meant to be. I wish I had learned how to trust this inner voice much earlier, so I'm sure my life would have been much easier. The second thing that I wish I knew is that separation is an illusion. And this is what the Hindus, they call the Maya, the world of illusion, the separation, the duality. This is the root cause of suffering in the world and pain. Whenever I see myself separated from other people or even separated from nature, there's pain. Whenever I don't make choices that benefit the collective consciousness, there's pain, there's suffering. There's the me, 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 instead of the we, 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 us. Feeding this me, me, me ego is only going to perpetuate the problem because the ego is this voice that always needs more. The ego needs the attention, the praise, the acknowledgement. We must go back to the source. We must go back to the oneness. Whenever we see the separation, we're going to see pain and we're going to see suffering. All the wars, the diseases, the depression, the everything that's painful that happens in the world is because of the separation, the sense of separation that doesn't even exist. We need to go back to the source. We need to go back to this collective consciousness. There's only one mind, one soul, one love, one everything. And this sense of unity is actually what's going to end the suffering and pain in the world. The third thing that I wish I knew is to honor and cherish this vessel. Although we all belong to this collective consciousness, to this one mind, one soul, one love, we were all given a physical body in order to have the experiences we need in order to transcend. And we chose this very specific body because we knew that this body would provide us all the experiences we needed in order to grow, evolve, and transcend. Our job is to take care of this vessel, is to honor it, is to respect it, is to nourish it with quality food, with water, with exercise, and to love it. I don't say love this body in a narcissistic way or with attachment, but love it in a way that we know that this body is needed. Otherwise, we wouldn't have one. Every cell, every bacteria that we have in our body works so perfectly in order for us to be here having this human experience that is such a miracle. And not only that, like we have the ability to make a new life, to create a new life that is going to be cooking inside a woman's womb for nine months. It is just fascinating. I wish I knew how to honor and cherish and respect this vessel that I chose. The fourth thing that I wish I knew is the relationship between karma and dharma. And I think a lot of people, they've heard of the word karma and it usually gets associated with something bad happening. But karma means action. 
in Sanskrit. For every action, there's a reaction, just like Newton's third law of physics. For every action, there's a reaction with the same magnitude and opposite direction. Karma is this law of the universe to keep everything in balance, to keep everything in harmony. Whenever we do experience something unpleasant, it's just the universe telling us that we got a little bit off track, that we need to recalibrate. And that's why making conscious choices is so important. It's interesting that an average adult makes about 35,000 conscious choices every day. If there's something unpleasant happening, it's important to revisit the choices that we make because our lives today is the sum of every choice that we made up to this point. And Dharma is actually our life mission, is why we came here, is what we're here to do to serve other people. And whenever we find our Dharma, whenever we live our Dharma, we cancel our karma. Because whenever we help other people to recalibrate we are canceling our own karma because we're helping to balance the universe. We're helping with the balance of the entire universe. When I found my Dharma, I noticed that everything started to become more colorful, more fulfilling, more joyful. Finding my Dharma was absolutely life-changing and I wish I knew that before. The fifth thing that I wish I knew is Inner beauty. I wish I knew the meaning of beauty. I wish I knew that the reflection that I see on the mirror, it's not real beauty because that's gonna change, that's gonna fade. And whatever changes, it's not real. It doesn't matter. I wish I had spent time and energy cultivating what's real, which is inside of me, which is who I am. And beauty is one of the highest frequencies in the world, like love, like compassion, like gratitude. And these are the frequencies that I wanna align myself with. Like Dostoevsky said, beauty is going to save the world. I added a little bit to it and I say, inner beauty is going to save the world. Shine your inner beauty because this is who we are. This is why we're here. This is part of fulfilling our Dharma. I hope you liked this video and I would love to hear from you what are your things that you wish you knew before. Thank you so much for watching.